Hi everybody, I'm Melinda Gallant and I want to welcome you to another Cape Conversations. <gasps> look where I am and look what I'm standing behind. Mmm, it's called It's a Secret. I wonder what her secret is. Maybe we'll find out. So come along, let's have another Cape Conversations. everybody. Oh, am I excited. Look where I am. Beautiful artwork. I'm surrounded by beautiful, beautiful artwork. And I am at the Sandwich Arts Alliance with Kathy Alban. Hello. How are you? Alban, not Alban. Mm. I almost got it right. Mm. <laughs> Alban, right? It's Alban. Alban. Yes. Okay. Alban. <laughs> what nationality is that? It's 100% French. Is that right? Yes. Well, that's why. French. I inherited I it. Yeah. I inherited the name, but yes, 100% French. And what was your main name? Olinger. Oh. German. German. Yes. Oh, German and French. Whole <laughs> European deal. <laughs> That's great. So, Kathy, what what do you do here? What are what's your title here at uh, Sandwich Arts Alliance? So, I have been involved with the Arts Alliance for a number of years, uh, on the board and also running the development committee up okay. until the beginning of this fiscal year when I assumed the role of president and um, well, you go to the restroom and <laughs> came back and said, Aunt Kathy. Yes, you weren't at the table. <laughs> Problem. No, no. <laughs> right. You were not at the table, but it's been a wonderful journey wonderful. from the very beginning of when I became associated with the Arts Alliance. Mm -hmm. And um, as it relates to what we do here, oh my goodness. Um, we are a very young organization. I know you are. Very young. Um, six years old. Mm -hmm. And we started with just a handful of folks here in Sandwich who really, really cared about bringing arts and culture mm -hmm. to the community in a more formalized setting. Sure. And so those folks literally sat around a dining room table for a couple of years, mm -hmm. probably once a week at least. Mm -hmm and engaged a lot of folks here in town who really supported the arts wanted to build a cultural community we did not we have a cultural community but they actually did not have a voice and that right. was sort of the idea right. behind uh, forming the arts alliance mm -hmm. is to say how can we make these folks we have a huge breadth and depth of talent here in town how can we give a voice to those folks? Well, so you, <clears throat> the Arts Alliance does everything, right? So you do, I mean, obviously we're sitting in this beautiful gallery. Yes. Um, so you do visual arts. Um, do you do performing arts? We do. So we do, that? yes, we do uh, visual arts. We have a wonderful visual arts team. We promote performing arts. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk a little bit about what those, those events are, which are amazing. We also promote, promote literary arts, wow. and we also have a group that is Friends of the Arts who are uh, not necessarily artists themselves, uh -huh. but really believe in building the arts uh, community here in town. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, how, okay, so you came to Sandwich in? Uh, my husband and I moved here in 2016 in the mm -hmm. fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I retired from a road career, a road warrior career in mm -hmm. sales and healthcare IT. And once I retired and decided not to travel anymore mm -hmm. nationally, my husband said, we were living at Pine Hills at the time, my husband said, we can go back to the Cape. This would be wonderful. Yeah. So, um, did he work in Boston or did he work? He, he owned his own um, healthcare consulting company oh, in the great. Boston area. Yeah. He had already retired. Oh my gosh. And um, so we had built a house in Brewster, mm -hmm. which we loved. We loved the Cape. But due to my constraints with traveling, we ended up moving to Pine Hills so I could be closer to airports. Sure. So we did that for about now, Brewster is a ways from the It's bridge. a ways. <laughs> it's a ways. <laughs> can't get to a flight at three in the morning. <laughs> no. So so literally, uh, we moved to Pine Hills for that reason. Mm -hmm. We were there for 10 years, and then once I stopped doing that, then we decided to come back to the Cape. Oh, that's and we landed in Sandwich, which we're close we to the bridge. completely love, <laughs> and it's close to the bridge, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. we've lived here 41 years, and I think when we for, we vacationed here prior to that, and when we were, made the big decision with three little kids to move to Cape Cod, which was huge from Ohio. I mean, our right. entire family thought we were had lost our minds. Yeah, and we probably had. <laughs> um, what we found was that when we were looking for homes at that particular time, was if you went down Cape. It was very difficult. I mean, it was hard. I mean, if there was a busy Saturday, you couldn't right. get back. Right. And so living close to the bridge was certainly a key factor for us. Huge. Because the, the saying is, I always say, anybody who lives in the Lower Cape is in the Witness Protection Program, <laughs> and you can't get there from here. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Um, so you were very wise to choose Sandwich, and we're lucky to have you, actually. Thank you. For sure. So where is the Arts Alliance? What are you doing right now? What are you getting ready to do? So what we're doing right now is um, all, of our, all of our groups, all of our entities are working on their own programs and they, they do that with great success. One of the things that we've always cared about is those programs involve the community. Mm -hmm. So as you may be aware, we just finished up the Adirondack Chair Trail. Yeah. So we finished that up with the auction that is a project that's part of development, but also part of our visual artist sure. team. Sure. Um, so we finished that up. We are getting ready to do um, a couple things with performing. Ukulele Fest is oh, coming wonderful. up. Yeah, I heard about that. Yes, it's going to be on. Um, I should whip out my ukulele and get and, back involved. And your your Halloween costume because it's on Halloween. There you go. It's going to be. Oh, I on hate the Halloween, but that's another story. <laughs> We'll discuss that at a later date. We'll discuss that me. later. But yes, it's going to be on the lawn of the Sandwich Public Library. Oh, nice. And uh, it will be out, an outdoor event. That'll be a lot of fun. That's on Sunday, Halloween. We just had Porch Fest, too. We just had that Porch Fest. Success, that was a big success. Yeah. And again, those sorts of events are really our brand in that they involve the whole community. Mm -hmm. Business sponsors love it because we bring business to their sure, establishments. Sure. Uh, with Ukulele Fest as an example, people will be downtown. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to have 150 people on the lawn of the library, and they will all be eating in town. They will all yeah. be sure. doing whatever they want to do in town with their right. kids, right. trick or treating, or whatever. Well, so it's an economic development. Piece it absolutely for the is. Community. I'm yes. sure you know our economic development person loves this. We we believe in it. Yeah, we believe yeah. very strongly in it, and we've had great support from funders. Mm -hmm. here in town and elsewhere who understand that it builds the whole community. Sure. Yep, sure. it builds the whole community. Sure. So yes, that's coming up. Um, we are really excited that we've just had a call to artists to be able to have a an exhibit at the new Sandwich Arts, uh, the new uh, Sandwich Public Library space. Nice. We're going to have a gallery show there which nice. will be once a month uh, we will have a one-person show. Nice. We have our folks coming in to, um, to hang their work, and yeah. that will be a showcase for us. We also have a number of other entities here in town right. so, that support uh, us. Down at uh, Fisherman's View, you're down Fisherman's there. Fisherman's View is a wonderful gallery. Yeah. Uh, we, we, do, we have a hanging team that does that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another hanging team that takes care of Co-op Bank of Cape Cod, yeah. and we're working on Cape Cod 5. So all of these business supporters, we want to work together sure. to help, help all of us here in town. So that's all coming up. Wonderful. Really busy. Our literary artists are also very busy. They are getting ready to publish a new book. Oh, wonderful. What's this book? Um, well, this one is going to be um, on the universal love theme of pets. Ah. Who does not have a pet that they love or wish they had one? Right. So our visual artists, excuse me, our literary artists are going to be putting together a, a new book that will follow up on oh, Pebbles wonderful. of the Stream. Great. And we're looking for some grant funding to, for publishing costs for that. So sure. again, whether it's literary, performing, visual arts, we believe in raising all boats. Yeah. Absolutely. And helping them be successful. Well, you know, I, I've been fortunate. I've done a few things, you know, with visual, um, not visual arts, but with the um, uh, performing arts, with yes. the Arts Alliance a while ago. Yes. Um, however, which was great fun and good yes. thing to do, and, and um, I enjoyed it so much. Um, so where do you go from here? I mean, here you are. You've got your own building. 
Yes. COVID hit. Thank yes. you, Lord. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, a lot of a lot of nonprofit arts groups really struggled, and they still are struggling. Um, you know, and um, a lot of places aren't even open yet. Right. Um, I'm getting ready to f perform down in Woods Hole for a. Uh, anecdotes and tales nice. with Woods Hole Theater yes. Company on the 22nd, 23rd. But there are only the the people who own the building only want 40 people in there. Right. Hard to cover your costs with only 40 people. You know. Yes. Right. So um, and they normally would get 100 people for this particular event, the two-day mm -hmm. event. Yeah. 100 each night. So how, how are you doing it? How are you? I mean, is it through grants? Is it through donations? We've been very, very fortunate. Um, and I say that because we were shuttered last year like everyone else. Sure. And we are a small business here in town like everyone else, yeah. right? So we had a wonderful executive committee. We had a wonderful board of directors who said, we are going to do whatever we can, even though we're shuttered, to continue to engage those who support us. Yep and we're going to plan for the future, which we did. The thing that probably hurt us the most, um, because we were able to do uh, visual arts, pop-up sales online, we could do right. a lot of things online. Right. And we actually did I mean, that was a saving grace, wasn't it? That was it? a saving grace, because we could online do, sales we could engage our yeah. artists, we could have our pop-up sales, which were a lot of fun. You did some Zoom things, too. We did you? a lot of Zoom things, yeah. we did Porch Fest, Porch Fest last year on Zoom, Zoom. Yes, and it was that. wonderful because SCTV actually gave us studio space where That's we right. built a porch. Yes, I remember So that. our yes. artists were able to go down, I mean our people built the porch, but they gave us the space, which sure. was amazing. Yep. Uh, so what we were able to do is we were able to actually do Porch Fest live stream. Nice. So it was wonderful. So we, we, I thought our people were incredibly creative mm -hmm. to get through that. We kept banded together. We did not uh, lose our resolve, mm -hmm. so to speak. So, uh, but the thing I think that was most difficult for us about COVID is if you don't have performing arts, you don't have the audiences who appreciate arts and culture, who want to join you, who want to, right. to come in and support right. you, meet new people, grow your membership base. Right. You, you need performing arts for that. And although we've done great um, as far as not having live performances through last year, we're so excited to be back to it. So we have open mic now. Now I've heard about that, yes. Yeah, we have open mic now, which is awesome. So literally the first Wednesday of every month, 7 p.m., you come to the center, you sign in, whatever your talent happens to be. <laughs> Playing the spoons, And it perhaps? could be in your own mind, okay? <laughs> it's possible. Literally you come, you sign in, we have a beautiful sound system here with the mic, and you have your five minutes of fame. There and that go. has been really, really popular. Excellent. Yes, people are, are getting, excited like, a about lot of it. People, like, yes. people coming or something? Yes, or? and all different kinds of talent uh, that you might not classify as performing arts, but so certainly. Tell me one. Just give me one. Okay, example. so it could be improv, mm -hmm. well, that's performing uh, arts. which is it's performing arts. Yeah. It could be. I teach it. I know it's. Performing okay, so arts. we're going to have to talk about that later. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yes, uh, it could be improv. It could be comedy. Mm -hmm. It could be an author reading a part of a I new see. piece Book. of work yeah. that they're working on. Maybe hasn't been published yet. Sure. So we're looking to embrace folks of all kinds of artistic talent that want to showcase their work. And Wonderful. the open mic is a lot of fun. Oh, I would. Yeah, it's a lot so. of fun. I would imagine yeah. so. Do you sell wine here when you do that? Uh, well, we haven't, but we can talk about that I later. I would think, be, I'm just saying, if you're up there performing, the more juiced your audience is, the better you will do. Okay. I know from experience. Okay, well, <laughs> Melinda, you might have to be on my crew for that thing. You I'll know? be glad to pour. As long as, I have a, as long as I have a stool to sit on because of my bad knee, I'll be glad okay. to pour for you. You're Absolutely. my newest volunteer. There you go. Okay. You, you, but you're not going to give it away. You know? No, you no, can't no, give you anything away. away. No, 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 never. Absolutely not. No. Um, so is that only open to members or is that open to anybody? It's open to anyone. Can I become a member? Yes, absolutely. 
you go I online. I, I was. I don't know well, I'm going to track you down. I'm going to see if you are. <laughs> but no, to become a member, you literally go online yeah. or you can call or stop by the center if yeah. you wish to do that. And literally, um, if you're smart, um, you would pay $35 a year as mm -hmm. a single person mm -hmm. or 55 as a family unit, whatever that consists of. Very reasonable. And if you're really smart, you would check um, renew automatically. Yeah. 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 Because then you just you're always a member, right. and how yeah. great is that? You're right. supporting the arts here in Sandwich. Right. Right. Yeah. Which is so, important. It's important. It's very very yes, important. Yes. It's very important. So your membership. Now you said you got a roll. Is it a rolling membership, or is it once a year we just automatically renew? So. Um, Yes, I you you uh, enroll for a year, mm -hmm. and if you wish to continually be enrolled, right. that's an option for right. you. And I just find honestly that's a little bit easier because people forget they don't know when they renew, they don't, don't know when they're You don't have to remind them. Right. It's a whole other layer of uh, administration right. that we we need to do. And people, for the most part, the member benefits for being in the Alliance mm -hmm. are so enormous. It is just such a bargain. Oh, sure. It is. And we really, we really mm -hmm. find that people really want to continually oh, be sure. enrolled, but sometimes uh, that gets lost in the shuffle. But, it does, it yeah. does, I'm sure it does. So, <clears throat> okay, so we know what membership is. Now, how do we find you online? What, do you have a website? We have a beautiful website, mm -hmm. um, sandwicharsalliance.org. Easy. Easy, and we update that continually. We have a wonderful marketing crew who works on that. So when you go on the website, literally, you will see a banner of all of the upcoming events that are happening right now. So if you went on now, you would see Ukulele Fest. Nice. Uh, you would see what's coming up with wonderful. the new um, being part of the um, the chamber holiday holiday mm -hmm. events so we're part of all of that and looking into the future what about 2021 what are you doing you're gonna do a big play you're gonna do a big musical there you go Melinda okay so here's the thing performing arts yeah we just learned <clears throat> and I think actually it was um, a couple of weeks ago that um, we got the call that Town Hall is now open to the public yeah, so we'll we're be. able to actually schedule something at right. Town Hall right. which has been I've done three plays there. It, has been, it is very difficult until they move. Yes. It's very difficult because the town stage is used by our town manager as his personal office and conference room. I know. And that's I know. Tough. It's really so that, tough. all of that coordinating, we've been on top of that. We've oh, had a couple great. of our board members who are, are well, working. They work with, with the Sandwich Town Hall Preservation Trust. Absolutely. I'm on the board with them. Absolutely. So, so our, our team is, you know, cued in with what is great. able to be done and great. when. But you're right, until the offices get moved, it's difficult. It is. Um, but what we do have coming up, and this is thinking forward yeah, great. Uh, to after the first of the year, do you remember how fabulous we were with the Village Concert Series? Yes. Do yes. you remember that? Yes, of course I do. Oh my goodness. So, so we're rank, ranking that up again. Wonderful. Uh, Todd has been you know Todd Herman. Of course. Do, do ah, we love him beyond belief? Todd. How he fabulous is, he, he is! is. Wonderful so um, we're working right now on four events, probably March, May, and then a couple in the fall that will comprise the Village Concert Series nice. again. So this is Wonderful. literally, and again, it's it's right. town hall moving and us having access to that facility right. or maybe first church once they i mean there there are a number of venues that we could use right but the important thing is we want to start that up again because what that does for us we are we are very good at producing events mm -hmm. we're very very skilled at it so mm -hmm. what we can do is we can bring talent from all over we can bring talent from all over the cape do you find underwriters for what you do or we do that's wonderful we that's do great. we work on it all the time mm -hmm. and uh we have been building those relationships over the last couple of years mm -hmm. It's, it, it takes time. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to build relationships with people sure. who appreciate what it is you do. Right. But we've been very fortunate with our funding uh, compared to a number of other arts organizations on the Cape. I feel we've been very successful at it. But well, how, we, 
Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't yeah. interrupt you. Um, but but it, you you have to work at it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, and you have, have to, to get people. out the community and let people know what you're exactly. doing. Exactly. Um, how long are you president? Do you, are they going to put you in perpetuity? <laughs> So that was funny. Okay. <laughs> we had nothing else to do, right? You're retired, for heaven's sakes. Plenty of time. So what happens, according to our bylaws, mm -hmm. is our executive committee is appointed for a one-year term. Mm -hmm. And what we do is, in the spring, in April, we put together a nominating committee, mm -hmm. and we, we work really... Um, diligently on the folks who are in the places they are uh -huh. and what they would like to do in the future because think about it this way we're literally a 100 percent volunteer organization sure. we do not That's have tough. paid staff right. I mean we have we have three folks who work for us on a contract basis two in marketing mm -hmm. and one who runs the center operations and other yeah. than that we are 100 percent volunteer right. so these folks are serving they get tired well, the, we're all serving out of passion. Yeah, of course, right. Of course. So you need to I've take. I've done that all my life. You've so done it all exactly. yours. So you know. <laughs> exactly. So literally, you have to take yeah. a pulse every year yep. and see yep. how folks are doing. Yep. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So far, I'm loving the role. I'm. I just think we have so much ability and mm -hmm. so much talent. Oh, that's great. And so much passion. We're very fortunate. That is true. We're really fortunate. That yeah. is terrific. Yeah, it's awesome. So. We know what's going to go on in 2021. You're going to bring back the concert series. We're doing uh, 2022. We're doing the, yeah. We're doing the concert series. We yeah. are doing the Adirondack Chair Trail again. Oh, wonderful! Because here's the thing. Here's what happened. People you, love it. You have certain signature events. Yeah. Right, and yeah. people want them. Yeah. So what happened when we did the trail this mm -hmm. past year was enormously successful. We had 26. I got emails and telephone calls from both sponsors and artists who said how come you didn't how come how come we weren't included i mean you didn't you didn't contact us and like really offended you yeah, know yeah. we we wanted to be part of it right so uh we're going to do it again and some of our artists said oh dear god are we going to do it again like right away next year yeah. i think i think that we will do it we're yeah. we're polling yeah. right now so that looks good yeah. um and yeah, I mean, we're just gonna keep doing what we do. That's wonderful, Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, <clears throat> my husband is an artist, he is an indie scholar. Yes, gallery, I know but, the um, name. Who, yes. Yes. Um, and he is, fortunately, thank God, um, he is, you know, he's moderately successful. Oh my gosh, you'll get mad at me if I I, I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> <laughs> I would, very I would successful. change the adjective on that yes, one. He's very <laughs> successful. <laughs> well, he's selling stuff. <laughs> He sells stuff. He sells stuff. You know, he's, he does. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, he's, he's been selling it online. He has online. a big name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but he is so thrilled that this is here because it brings attention to all artists, I guess, is it what does. I'm trying to get to. And, and yes. that's really um, the A1 thing. So who's on your board? Who, who, who is, are there people in the community we, we know? We have wonderful folks on our board. And yeah. what happened this time around uh, we decided as a board, uh, as a recommendation to the nominating committee, that we wanted to bring in a number of folks who were 30 years old or younger. Oh, that's great We said idea. we want some yeah. youthful energy of folks who are really talented in a number of areas. We had a list of, of things that we wanted to pursue. We wanted someone with the banking background, so um, we have Kristen, who is the uh, branch manager at Cape Cod Five. Oh, great! She is a 30, 30 something. They're also our banker, um, so she has joined our board as of the new fiscal year. Wonderful. She's a great contributor. She's actually going to be running our volunteer coordinator role to nice. reach out and build our volunteer organization. We also have uh, Manx Taiki oh, Magyar, yeah. who is on our who's board this right year, now. who's away. I'm like, when are you ever coming back? <laughs> well, Please, God. God only knows. He's, he's in <laughs> Japan having a ball. Like, after we got through quarantine, I thought he was going to die during quarantine. When it. I ever saw the face, face. oh my goodness, the I'm like, he's big. Really oh good. my goodness. that. He's a very creative, funny kid. He's a very creative, funny kid. And and we really wanted to have him on our board uh -huh. uh, due to the fact that, of course, um, his video production company. So and just to help us um, with the 
with a lot more um, resources as it relates to technology. So those two are wonderful. We also have, as a new board member this year, Dan Dobbins, who teaches at Sandwich High School. Oh. He's, the art in, he's an art instructor at Sandwich High School, and what we love about him is that he um, oversees the National Art Honor Society students oh, wonderful. at Sandwich High School. So um, it was important to us because we want to engage the high school sure. kids. Absolutely. So uh, all of those have been wonderful contributors. We're very fortunate to have them. And then we have some old standbys who always do the heavy lifting. You know how that goes, yeah. Melinda. Yes, I do. So yes, so we have a full so board. So is Christy still on it? Christy Lawrence? Is she Christy on is anywhere? not on the board. Right she oh, she okay. stepped off the board a num a couple of years ago. Oh, I didn't realize that. But what she what she does do right now, she said, and I speak with her on a regular basis. Yeah, She's I such know. an asset to I the know community. She is. Yeah. Um, but what she did tell me recently, and and I talked with her a couple of days ago. She is working on finishing up a big project that she has she's been working, working on, on she's for been a while. On, yeah, this book. Yes. And of course, you know, I've known Christy since our kids were oh, first my moved goodness. here 40 years yes, ago. Yes, of course. And um, the, always whenever she writes a book, I go, because she writes wonderful books. But the detail oh, the and detail the research. Oh, my uh, goodness. Unbelievable. But yeah. I always say to her, are you going to put any sex in it? <laughs> Not everybody in my audience <laughs> knows so. You know, I mean, come on. It sells. <laughs> so oh, that's why I'm on. No, anyway. So, that's a joke. Anyway, so I always ask her that. And she yeah. always goes, Melinda. Melinda. Uh, really? Yes, really. So, Melinda. Oh, anyway. And then she laughs. So, anyway, and then she laughs. She's, she's, so she's taking a little break. Uh, yeah, she's, she you stepped down that. a couple months ago, but yeah. I'm in touch with her all the yeah. time. Oh, she's a wonderful great. asset. That's good. Yes. That's good. For the community. Um, yes. So thank you again for having us in this beautiful space with all these lovely paintings. And you have a store here yes. where I know Christmas is coming and everybody's worrying about supply and demand. The supply is there. It's Come all get here. It. It's all here. And it's it's all beautiful artwork that people have done personally. It is. So one of the things that one of the um, focuses as our goal for the gift shop uh -huh is we wanted to have our artists have the ability to commercialize their sure, work. Sure. So everything you see in the gift shop, stunning, beautiful work, is all our artists' work wonderful. that has been made in different commercialized pieces of art, That's small great. pieces, yeah. wonderful yeah. gifts for the holidays. Kathy, I just yes. want to thank you again. It's been delightful seeing you and yes. uh, talking with you today. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming over, Melinda. We really thank appreciate you. it. And, thank uh, you. And I'll be in. Yes, you will. Something. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for joining me today. Can you imagine Kathy Aubin is so fantastic, president of the Sandwich Arts Alliance. We are so fortunate in this community to have all these wonderful artists, both performing, visual, and literary. And by the way, the secret of the chair, <laughs> I can't tell. See you next time on another Cape Conversations.